Ten years and counting. That's how long a case dealing with the homeless camps in the city of Boise has been working its way through the courts. The lawsuit began back in 2009 when six people experiencing homelessness challenged the constitutionality of the city's anti-camping ordinance. And since then, it has been heard at multiple levels of the court system. Most recently, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, which denied the city's request for a rehearing. Today, the city announcing it plans to take the case all the way to the Supreme Court. Our Missy Eaglet spoke with the city about this, and she looked at what legal implications it could have if the Supreme Court takes this, the case. Misty, this is a pretty big deal. It is, Mark and Kim. Lots of cities across the U.S. are dealing with a homelessness problem, most far worse than Boise. So a lot of eyes will likely be on this case if it heads to D.C. The city of Boise has an anti-camping ordinance which prohibits people, including the homeless community, from sleeping on public property or they can be issued a citation. This tool is used very sparingly in our community. This year, we have not issued a single camping ticket. Um, last year, there were about 30 that were issued. The year before that, six. The lawsuit filed in 2009 claims the city's ordinance violated the Eighth Amendment, which prohibits cruel and unusual punishment. The city amended its ordinance in 2014 to not allow citations when local shelters were full. However, the lawsuit continued forward in a series of court proceedings at different levels. It made its way to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, where in 2018 the judges upheld the argument the ordinance did violate part of the Eighth Amendment. Now the city of Boise is moving forward with an appeal to the highest court in the nation. This is part of a larger effort where we're building up those resources in order to provide the services that those experiencing homelessness need in our community. But in order to make sure that they avail themselves of those services and that they take advantage of the resources that are available to them, we need this tool. The city says without the ordinance, it creates a health and safety issue for Boise. When encampments like this happen, the, the most vulnerable members of our society are often preyed upon by those who are, want to get them get drugs into their hands, create scenarios where people get hurt. Um, sexual assaults of women are very high in situations like this. So it's, it's a public health and safety problem. It's a humanitarian problem. It's, it's an issue that we cannot allow to exist on our streets. David Leroy, a Boise attorney and former Idaho Attorney General, says this case is a good fit for the U.S. Supreme Court because so many other areas are dealing with a similar issue. So it could set a precedent should the court decide to hear the case. This is a very significant case, not only for Boise, not only for homeless people all over the country, but for every state and every city because it interprets the ability of a local municipality to use minor criminal processes to discourage homelessness in parks and other public places. And if the justices in Washington, D.C. take the case, Leroy says you can expect the unexpected. I've appeared three times before the United States Supreme Court. These kinds of cases always take a twist or end up with a bounce that some party had not anticipated. The questions by the justices go in a different direction. The opinion contemplates something that nobody ever truly argued or thought through fully. Uh, so it's entirely possible and an entirely new idea could be fashioned by the Supreme Court. After last year's ruling by the Ninth Circuit, the city of Boise asked for a rehearing and in April that was denied. The city today asked for an extension on its 60 days to file a formal appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. And if that's granted, the deadline will be August 29th. It will then be up to the Supreme Court to decide when or if to hear the case. Back to you.